Hi, I'm joined here by Ian 2 leader Potter Devine, and he must be pleased with the performance of the party so far in Cavan. I'm absolutely delighted. Uh, first of all, it looks like obviously that Sarah has uh, topped the poll here uh, and gone beyond the quota uh, in this particular constituency, which is absolutely wonderful. I think Ronnie's uh, results here today is phenomenal results for a woman who's been standing in this constituency for maybe three or four weeks. She has done exceptionally well. And this has created a big base for us uh, here in AIM2 in the Cabin Mountain uh, area over the next while. And to be honest, I have to say, much of the vote is obviously because of the the personal work that both Sarah and Gronia have been involved in. And if you were to design two candidates uh, to be more immersed in the local community, you couldn't design two candidates such as this. We're proud to have them as members of our new party. Okay. Um, so obviously it, it bodes well for the, for the uh, upcoming general election. And do you see um, a connection, a parallel between Ian Drew's success here and Sinn Féin's uh, underperformance? Well, there's no doubt that many people uh, from, I would say, from a Fianna Fáil and Sinn Féin background um, have been let down by their leadership uh, over the last while. Now, obviously, on a council day today, it's not the day that you want to make difficulty for other political parties who are, not, who are not doing so well. But it's important that leaders listen to their members and listen to their supporters. And I think that hasn't been happening with regards to those two political parties in recent times. OK, and we do see, you know, with, say, there was a general election next year, possibly late this year, would you see your candidates coming from your pool of councillors? Or <laughs> would you be looking to ask for it? I think, first of all, it's early days, absolutely. Uh, but there's no doubt the vote that we've received in the Cavan Mountain area puts us in a position as a political party to challenge the establishment in the Dáil elections uh, uh, in, in the next eight months, or whenever it happens. And I want to put the establishment parties on notice with regards to the next general election that aims to will be seriously challenging. Okay. And at the end of today, or at the end of tomorrow, at the end of this weekend, how many counts are going to you in business you have? Well, it's incredible. Our political party is 20 weeks old. We uh, literally have first-time candidates running for first-time parties. Uh, who literally have uh, teams of canvassers who've never been involved in politics uh, before. And we are currently competing in about 10 different constituencies now uh, for seats. Some of those will go first and some of those won't, but I'm absolutely delighted with the results that we're getting so far. And it's, it's a testament to the quality of the candidates and also, obviously to the message that we're giving people as well. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you.